Well, hello everyone. Hope you all are having a wonderful day. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas, spending time with your family and your loved ones. I uh, hope you have a great new year. Uh, I think 2022 is going to be a very, very interesting year for all of us. I wanted to say hi to all my friends worldwide. I uh, wanted to also uh, just let everyone know what's going on with my Facebook page. Um, a lot of people do follow me on Facebook for the news and the information that I post. And apparently Facebook doesn't like that. Uh, <laughs> so they have restricted my account. Uh, that means that they've lowered my post, lowered the my post and news feeds and things like that. I put out a post today to say that Facebook is shadow banning me. And I have people commenting saying that they are not seeing my post like they used to. Well, good news is I haven't slowed down. I haven't stopped. I'm still posting every day. Uh, there's something happening every day worldwide uh, that plays along with what's going on in this world. And so I'm still doing that. So if you have been following me on Facebook and you like the information that I post, then you'll probably end up having to just go to my page. I know that's a, a bummer, but you'll probably have to go to my page to be able to see everything that I'm posting. Uh, so I wanted to put that out there. That that's what's going on with my Facebook. So if you do uh, comment on something and I don't respond right away, it's because I don't see it. I'm not getting my notifications. I usually have to restart my phone uh, and reload Facebook to be able to get my notifications. So, yeah, that's happening right now. They haven't kicked me off there or put me in jail. They've grounded me, apparently. So, there's that. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention to everyone is because of me being uh, shadow banned on Facebook, there's a lot of you that may not know that we have a new roundtable episode coming out this Saturday. It will premiere at 5 o'clock Eastern Time. And, uh, of course, we'll be on the live chat to talk with you guys. Uh, this video will be about, it's about two hours long. So there's a lot of information in there. Uh, get your pens, pencils, get a notepad. Uh, I put out on Facebook the other day, get your vice of choice. Uh, and come join us on this new episode of the roundtable and if you haven't seen the first two episodes that we did i highly suggest that you go back and watch those because we are trying to coordinate these episodes in a way to be able to draw a bigger picture for people to look at so they they line up together i mean we could literally have just kept talking on and on but no one wants to watch a six hour video so we're telling our stories, we're showing information um, that is very vital to what we need to know right now. Um, there's, there's so much going on. Um, I'm going to play the clip for the new roundtable trailer. I'm going to play that here in a second. But there's one thing that I wanted to address. You know, when I woke up from the Watchtower, I, I dove into research about Watchtower and their false doctrines and things that they do behind the scenes that the public doesn't know. Um, then, of course, me and John and Deasis got together and we created the roundtable. And we went into the community with our information and we were a hit. You know, people loved the information that we were bringing. Now, since we took some time off and started learning things that was going on in the world, we changed our focus because we really do feel like we woke up from one cult to realize that we're in a bigger cult. And so those that follow me know that I have said time and time again that Watchtower is just a propaganda arm of the deep state globalist agenda. And so what we're doing is we're exposing the bigger fish um, that's in the pond, so to speak. So that's why we have gone that route because, you know, when you're, when you're in a cult, you don't know you're in a cult, if, you, if that makes sense. And so when I woke up from Watchtower, I was like, holy crap, I was in a cult. Didn't know. There's a lot of people out there that are in a cult and they don't know that they are. Well, how do you find out if you are in one? 
It takes a lot of research. It takes having an open mind. It takes um, the ability to, or to have the ability to fight cognitive dissonance. Things that you thought were true all this time, they weren't true. And the reason why this video that we have, this new video that we have done is so important is because we are providing a bigger picture to look at. And I can't tell you how many times I've said this, and it probably won't be the last time I'll say this, but there is a big picture, a puzzle, and each piece plays a factor, you know? And so how many times have you been putting a puzzle together to where you think a piece fits somewhere, but it doesn't? It goes over here. And so a lot of people, they get sidetracked with the things that they see on the news, which I don't even know why you're still watching the news right now, because I think we've all proven that they are fake, phony, and false, and they have an agenda. But what we're trying to do is to get people to open their eyes, to see the big picture, and then take that and go do research. Guys, there, guys and gals, there's so much information out there. And you can put this puzzle together. But uh, anyway, just wanted to say that. And I wanted to play that trailer. Let me get that real quick. And what I'm going to do, a lot of people keep sending me messages on Messenger saying, Jimmy, where can I find the round table? Where, you know, where's it at? Well, I'm going to let you guys know. And then what I'd like for you guys to know is to share it on your Facebook pages, get the information out. Because we really feel, me and Deasis were talking the other day. Uh, we feel like this upcoming video that we did um, is very, very, very important to watch. Um, watch it with an open mind. Look at the information we provide. We're going to have links to everything that we say in the description. So you can take those links and you can go back and look at what we were talking about. And then, um, and actually, there's some stuff in there that we didn't get a chance to say in the video. So the links will be provided so you can go look at them at that information some more. So anyway, so let me play this real quick and got to use the wife's phone. Uh, so I'll show you guys what the new trailer looks like. was in control of everything they own the houses they own the only store you had to buy from them like they could set the prices to whatever they wanted like and the people eventually became basically economic slaves like we are in world war three i have said that it's not a shooting war it's an information war Shit. but why think for yourself john when they can just program yeah. Mm. And when you get to the point where you can no longer just pump funny money into the economy, inevitably you get the Great Depression. That's what you get. And But if you have a scapegoat, oh, it wasn't our horrible, horrible policies for the last so many decades. It was COVID and those damn anti-vaxxers. Mm -hmm. Democrat, Republican, it, it doesn't matter if that's what you're seeing. You know, I mean, at some point, we just got to look at what's happening and the facts and reality around us. I mean, this is this is kind of what's going on. Mm -hmm. And the only reason that we haven't seen this in America, I think, in part is because, you know, of the American spirit, Second Amendment. But, I mean, guys, look around, okay? Regardless of what we think, this is happening in Australia and, and other places like that. And the longer people comply with these draconian measures... The longer this is going to last. That's why I put on my Facebook. Freedoms, stop complying. Yeah. Stop complying with anything that is violating your civil liberties and your freedoms. Stop Thank it. You. When someone who is in the position to benefit massively from your compliance tells you to do something, you need to stop and ask yourself why. Yeah. Like what? What real benefit is there to me? Well, if they freaking cared about your health. What about cancer? What about heart disease? Thank you. What They're going to put on you as much as they can until you don't take it anymore. If you what saved the colonists? Fighting back. What did they have? Guns. Guns. They had guns. They had their guns. Uh, you and guys caused this problem. Why are we going to trust you to fix it? Exactly. Maybe right. we should just get rid of you all. Yeah. 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 There we go. 
So guys, that is our new trailer for the upcoming episode of the round table. I uh, really would like to see you guys check us out Saturday. Like I said, it'll be Saturday uh, at 5 p.m. Eastern. And what I'm going to do, since so many people are having a hard time finding the round table, because it used to be on John's page. Well, we've moved it from there. And the reason we moved it is because we're expecting some of our videos probably to get taken down or the channel to get taken down. And we wanted to create a separate channel because we didn't want to have them combined on John's channel because if they take the channel down, then we lose all of our previous roundtable stuff that we did for the XJW community. There's a lot of people still coming out of the X or out of the watchtower, and those videos are still being watched. We're still getting comments on them. And it, it's just funny to me that so many people that liked and loved what we were doing uh, in the XJW community with the roundtable, it's amazing some of the backlash we have gotten. Uh, we're doing this because we feel like we need to speak out. We can't be silent. You know, we may not be correct on everything, which we don't ever say that we are, but there's a lot of crap going on that a, pe a lot of people don't realize. And so we just feel like, like we did in the XJW community, we wanted to get the information out there and then you can decide for yourself whether it resonates with you or not, whether we're true or not. And another thing is, is I, I've been kind of quiet over the last couple of months. And the reason why is because I've still been doing my research and I've been doing, doing some self healing and things like that. And one of the things that I'm not going to do, um, if you want to have a conversation with me, that's fine. I have no problem having a conversation with anybody, but you will treat me with respect. And what I mean by that is don't come at me sideways. If you have a question you want to ask, ask the question. Um, I, I just don't get how people can just be so hateful all the time. You know, I'm not about hate. I'm about love. I'm about unity. I'm about people getting along. You know, we all pretty much want the same thing. We want a roof over our head. We want food on the table. We want to have a nice job so we can pay our bills. And we want to live our life. And we basically want to do that with as less government involvement as possible. That's what the Constitution allows for the American people. Uh, but anyway, I won't go into all that right now. Um, I will be doing some other videos later talking about different things that's going on and going a little bit more in detail on those. But anyway, so I'll put the links to the Roundtable channel in the description. We also have a channel on Rumble as well as a backup so you can find us in two places. But anyway, so I just wanted to say, hey, send everybody some love. I, I do love everyone that I talk to and interact with. And uh, I try my best to bring encouragement to folks um, because in the world that we live in, we need encouragement. We need hope and we need some happiness. And so I try to do my part to bring that to you guys. So anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Enjoy the rest of your week. And we will see you when? Saturday, January 1st, 5 p.m. on the Roundtable channel. I love you guys. Y'all have a wonderful day. Take care.